So, finally get to see what the big secret is. What do you mean? Your room. I'm starting to think there was dead bodies in there or something. <laughs> oh. I was supposed to clean this place up. Oh my gosh! This is so cute! Oh. <laughs> it's not cute, it's embarrassing. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> Give it to me. There's nothing wrong with playing with dolls. I mean, I could bring over my Barbies and we can make them get married. <sighs> what if I promise to wear my hair like this tonight? No problem. <sighs> How'd I end up back here? I'm 22 years old, living with my parents and sleeping in a room with dolls. It'd be a whole lot sadder if you were 44. <laughs> we don't tell them the truth. Our money's invested in a property deal in Queensland. <laughs> but Nathan, they're your parents. <laughs> we don't tell them the truth. Okay, of course not. Let the records show that I, Olive Pendergast, being of sound mind, amplish breast size, and the occasional corny knock-knock joke, do enter this video blog as evidence in the case that's against me. And since I'm being judged by a jury of my peers, I will attempt to include like and totally as much as possible. So here it goes. I confess that I, in no small part, and partly to blame for this vociferous gossip that has turned my varsity letter scarlet. However, for those of you who are hoping that the sizzling details of my sordid past will give you a reason to lock your door and make love to a dollop of your sister's moisturising lotion, you will all be very disappointed. Look, I just need to set the record straight, and what better way to do that than broadcast it here on the internet. So here it goes. Part 1. The shudder-inducing, cliched, and yet totally false account of how I lost my virginity to a guy at a community college in the neighbouring town. Let me just begin by saying there are two sides to every story. And this is my side, the right one. Like, totally. 